Ian, any uh, are there any developments or anything you're hearing about Baker Mayfield and his whole situation? Since we talked last, we have seen the quotes from the podcast, and you know he identified Seahawks as his likely team. That was a little surprising to me, I have to say, because I haven't gotten the sense at all that the Seahawks are that interested, right? I mean, I think the salary they're definitely not interested. To me, the Carolina Panthers seem to be the most likely spot for Baker Mayfield. Many people have been more curious about where Baker Mayfield is going to get traded to as a result of his recent appearance on the YNK podcast, which we made a video on previously. Now, this is where things get really wild because there's two destinations for Baker Mayfield. And it seems like in one of those destinations, he is not popular at all whatsoever. Now, before we get to the content, congratulations to my man, Proforce XD for winning $500 for subscribing and turning on our notifications on this channel. The next giveaway is we're gonna be giving away $250 to two people that follow me on Twitter at microphone NFL. Now that we get all that out of the way, break. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? The Baker Mayfield saga is getting more and more unfortunate each and every day. Because in Baker Mayfield's case, he was a number one overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. He was the most successful quarterback in the expansion Browns history, which doesn't include Bernie Kosar, might I add. And after that, Baker Mayfield had a promising rookie year, a disappointing sophomore year, a good third season where he led the Cleveland Browns to their most successful season since they've re-entered the NFL. And then this past year, after deciding to play on a torn labrum, eventually the Cleveland Browns started chasing Deshaun Watson, which they were seen as a long shot for. And then they decided to pay him a fully guaranteed contract and ultimately were able to convince Deshaun Watson to come over to Cleveland. Honestly, the Cleveland Browns are a very exciting team this year. I mean, they still have Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt. They have Deshaun Watson. They traded for Amari Cooper, Jarvis Juice, Landry might be open to going there. But now we're in a very unique situation that is isn't exactly like what happened with the New England Patriots when they found Tom Brady, but it's a little similar. You have your former number one overall pick on your roster. His rookie scale contract is about to expire. Now as the quarterback carousel seems to be done turning, there are really only two destinations that the Cleveland Browns could trade Baker Mayfield to. Bear in mind that Baker Mayfield's value isn't that high currently. I mean, I assume he could be had for a third, maybe a fourth round pick. If you get really, really lucky, a second round pick. And there's only two teams that could potentially pursue him. One being the Seattle Seahawks, where I personally think it's the most likely place that he ends up getting traded to. And the second one being the Carolina Panthers. And the Carolina Panthers are a very unique case, man, because they have been going through quarterbacks like crazy ever since they've moved on from Cam Newton the first time. And they moved on from Ron Rivera. I mean, first with Teddy Bridgewater. And then after one year of Teddy Bridgewater, they moved on to Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold looked good in the beginning of the year and then not so good as the season progressed. Ironically, once Christian McCaffrey also got injured and then they decided to bring Cam Newton back again. Now, the interesting part about Sam Darnold is Sam Darnold did have a history with Robbie Anderson. So I was thinking at the time that maybe Sam Darnold and Robbie Anderson might be able to recapture some magic that they had together when they were with the New York Jets. And boy, was I wrong. It all started with Robbie Anderson. Anderson looking visibly upset at Sam Darnold after throwing three interceptions in his last 10 passes. Just take a look at this. Robbie Anderson is clearly a very vocal individual and there's multiple camera angles of him just being really freaking upset with Sam Darnold. And I don't really blame him. I mean, this seems like an individual that truly wants to succeed. And when your quarterback is throwing three interceptions out of his previous 10 passes against a team that he was known for saying that he was seeing ghosts against when he was with the New York Jets. I don't necessarily blame Robbie Anderson for being frustrated. I mean, not to say that Robbie Anderson is like one of the top wide receivers in the NFL, but when you look at this man's statistics and you consider who he's had at the quarterback position, you might wonder how good this guy could have actually been if he had a good quarterback throughout his entire career. I mean, take a look at his statistics, man. I mean, from 2016 to 2021, he's been averaging 15 yards per reception. He's had one 
one season where he nearly put up 1,000 yards receiving and another season where he's put up 1,096 yards receiving. So this is a man that's very familiar with Sam Darnold and he seemed to have had enough with Sam Darnold. As a matter of fact, when Sam Darnold went on Bussin' with the Boys, shout out to Will Compton and Taylor Lewan, Darnold had this to say about him still being a very good QB. It truly is, and this is this is kind of where you're not gonna believe what I say, but just bear with me. I'll be ready. Yeah, um, it truly is like whatever happens, happens. Because mm -hmm. that's at the end of the day, like it's out of my control. Yeah. And I know that. And so I have enough security in myself to where I can be like, I know I'm a good quarterback. Mm -hmm. I know I can be a good quarterback in this league. I've proved it. Um, and I know there's a team if, you know, something happens that would want me. Now, ironically, Robbie Anderson happened to tweet buddy so lame hashtag replacement at the time that the podcast went up. Now, he also went ahead and claimed that he was not talking about Sam Darnold. If I was talking, bro, I would add him. Y'all are reaching. Leave the drama and me out of it. In New York, I'm focused on positivity, success, and getting to my promised land with the fam. I've been such a good guy. Why they sh** on me? <laughs> now, the reason I'm giving you this backstory is because there's a theme here. If Robbie Anderson isn't happy with his quarterback, you're gonna know. This brings us to where we are currently, where if Robbie Anderson heard the rumors about Baker Mayfield, it could potentially happen during the NFL draft. I'm assuming if the Panthers don't take a quarterback with the sixth overall pick and they decide to wait until like the second round or they decide to trade up from the second round back in the first round, maybe take Desmond Ritter towards the late first round, which is personally my favorite QB prospect in the NFL draft, then I'm assuming they're backup plan would be Baker Mayfield. It's a pretty solid backup plan, might I add. A small Panthers Instagram page called Panthers.Way posted this. Per Ian Rappaport, the most likely landing spot for Baker Mayfield is the Carolina Panthers. This is coming to us via the Pat McAfee show earlier today. Now, here's where things get really funny, because when you go down to the comment section of this post, you see that chosen one RA, Robbie Anderson, just comments, no! As if he's watching his career die right in front of him. The funny part about this is another Panthers page took the quote, made a graphic about it, saying Robbie Anderson does not want Baker Mayfield to come to Carolina. Robbie has zero chill. And now you have Robbie Anderson down below in the comment section saying facts. Look, man, I cannot blame Robbie Anderson. And I don't think this is a personal thing against Baker Mayfield. But like at this point, he's going into his seventh season in the NFL. He's posted good enough numbers to convince me that the difference difference between him making it to the Pro Bowl and him just being an above average wide receiver is him actually having a good quarterback to throw him the football. At least that's what his basic statistics indicate. Maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe that's what he feels and I don't blame him for feeling this way. But this is just so unfortunate for Baker Mayfield because it just seems like it's getting worse and worse. Maybe he has a bad reputation amongst wide receivers because of the fact that he wasn't able to make it work out with Odell Beckham Jr. And the moment Odell Beckham Jr. switched teams, the man became a prolific wide receiver again and won a freaking Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford under center. But here's the thing. Does this mean Robbie Anderson rather have Jimmy Garoppolo or Kenny Pickett or Desmond Ritter or Malik Willis throwing him footballs in 2022? I mean, in that instance, maybe one of those quarterbacks are a little bit better, but in Baker Mayfield, you already know what you got. Maybe Baker Mayfield's talent doesn't mesh with Robbie Anderson's. Maybe he has PTSD from playing with Sam. Darnold and just watching another QB not live up to the hype and truly be delusional about how good he truly is. No offense, Sam, but you haven't had the best career so far. Or maybe Baker Mayfield just has a horrible reputation with other wide receivers and is known for just being very cocky, not being able to back up his talk with playing well on the football field. Now, here's where it gets a little interesting. Later on during the night, Josina Anderson of USA Today Sports would follow up with a suggestion of her own for the Carolina Panthers, suggesting that they bring in Colin Kaepernick for a private workout. And believe it or not, Robbie Anderson was a huge fan of this. My good friend JPA Football posted Josina Anderson's suggestion onto Instagram and asked his followers whether or not they agree that the Carolina Panthers should give Colin Kaepernick a workout. And it seems like Robbie Anderson is a big fan of this idea based off of the fire emoji and the praying hands emoji that he posted. Now here's the thing, man. Originally, the first thing that comes to mind is 
because I would think that Baker Mayfield is a better quarterback than Colin Kaepernick. And then you look at their statistics. And of course, Colin Kaepernick has seven years on Baker Mayfield. He's been out of the NFL for significantly longer than Baker Mayfield. But their statistics are fairly similar, at least in terms of completion percentage. Colin Kaepernick has a career 59.8% completion percentage. Baker Mayfield has a 61.6% .6 completion percentage. Colin Kaepernick is a dual threat QB, although at the age of 34, I don't necessarily know if he's still a dual threat QB. But in my opinion, I think Baker Mayfield is a starter in this league still. I'm not so sure if Colin Kaepernick is still a starter in this league at the age of 34. At the same time, Robbie Anderson is just advocating for the Carolina Panthers to give him a workout. So maybe he just wants Colin Kaepernick in the locker room. Because at the end of the day, yes, Colin Kaepernick has similar completion percentages to Baker Mayfield throughout his career with an average completion percentage of 59.8% to Baker Mayfield 61.6%, which isn't that far off. But I'm not necessarily sure whether or not Colin Kaepernick would be the next starter of the Carolina Panthers. I feel like he has a lot to overcome in order to get a place back in this league, considering all the things that happened ever since the NFL essentially blackballed him. We made a completely different video on that if you guys want to check it out, but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. It'd be really interesting if the Panthers decided to pull the trigger on Baker Mayfield anyways. Like, it's going to be a very awkward meeting between Robbie Anderson and Baker Mayfield. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.